Welcome to the Dynamic Response for Advanced Materials Poster Presentation. My name is John Sherman and I am the team lead. With this project, we were required to create structures which would absorb energy when compressed. We were required to absorb at least 10 joules per gram, however, the structures which we produced absorbed 60 joules per gram. Additionally, we were required to create parametric studies and validate their models with experimental data. The proposed samples are the golden spiral and ball and socket structures. The ball and socket consists of puzzle pieces which are interlocked. When these pieces are compressed, they allow for rotation which absorbs energy. This is non-permanent, so this structure can be reused if a non-excessive deformation is seen. The golden spiral consists of a tube with arms in the golden spiral shape. K refers to the hierarchy of the arms and refers to the total number of arms. The models will run in Abacus Explicit using a 6061 aluminum material property shown on the top right. The models are optimized to obtain the best performance and most accurate results utilizing mesh conversion studies. In addition to the 16 NK combination, five thickness and wall length arrangements were considered for a total of 144 final results. The trends for these can be seen in the table in the middle left, where an increase in the MCF, mean crushing force, and SEA, specific energy absorption, are shown with increasing in values when compared to a standard tube. A similar trend can be seen in the figure in the middle right, where increasing thickness yields improving results for k equals 4 samples. To validate the numerical models, experimental samples were produced using a wire EDM shown in the bottom left. These samples were compressed at a 5 mm per minute loading rate compared to the numerical results. When compared, the models were shown to be reasonable approximations of the experimental setup. When reviewing the results, several trends can be noticed. Increasing the N and K values yields an increase to the SEA and implicitly the MCF. Additionally, an increase in the thickness and the thickness to external diameter ratio has also shown an increase in the performance of these models. When taken to the extreme performance for these models, after which they proved to be practically unusable, a maximum SEA of 74 joules per gram was found. From this, it was determined that the proposed structures show good safety performance factors and future studies regarding similar structures should consider the demonstrated results. Thank you for listening to the MEGR Responses presentation.